Ursula having a bit of fun there. <laughs> Which world games, girls? Knowing her, the spell will wear off while she's up there. She'll change back in front of everyone. The spell won't wear off, Ethel. If it's not reversed by sunset, it will stick forever. Don't tell me you didn't know that. Well, I... Of course I knew. Of course. And now, everybody, we get serious. Come on, Maud. Where are you? As Ursula goes for the very dangerous broomstick hamster. And Ursula has broken away from her usual routine, clearly attempting something very special. Oh, this is going down! I found this girl wandering about the corridors. Her name is Ursula Ketnip. Then who is that? Ah, the kitten room. It's exactly as I remember it. I did not become a beautiful golden eagle without effort. You must learn that all fears can be defeated. The kitten room isn't scary. How about now? Be bold, Mildred the Hubble. What are you doing? Last one to the top of the tower. Gets turned to cast it. Yes, now hold that thought. Hecate, at last! I need a cauldron, I need base herbs, and I need you all out of my way. Yes, Miss Hubbard. Do not panic. I know how to fix everything. Do you know who made this? I believe I do. You were wrong to think that no one cared about you back then, just as you were wrong to think that no one cared about you here. Special is defined as greater, better, and different from the usual. What could fit that description more than magic? I'm sure my opponent will have a simple answer. Um, <laughs> fundamentally, um, pri primarily, predominantly. She's on her way. Get ready. Sun and moon, dark and light. Remove all day and make it night. We'll help you, Miss Hardbrim. Do not need assistance. <laughs> Unhand me this instant! One more second. Explain yourselves. No! No one would understand my thoughts anyway. They're far too advanced. Please tell me you didn't hear that. What if Taris finds out I copied her essay? Only once. Three times. I think we've all been affected. Our thoughts seem to be leaking. Like there's a tap in our brains. They keep dripping out. I'll fix this. I have no idea how to fix this. Sibyl! It's going! Don't panic! Uh, I'll catch you! Catch me? It'll be okay. Uh, trust me. I thought I was the brainless one around here. We use in the potions lab. Most of them do actually grow in the woods. Stupid levitation potion. You're going in there all tiny with a ravenous fox. You'd have to be mad or stupid. I'll turn myself into something that'll make a fox turn bushy tail and scarper. Stupid it is then. Like a coyote or a, a wolf. Yes, a wolf. Sorry, Mr. Daisy. I think you might have to go a bit smaller. How small? 
Good luck, Mr. Daisy. In and out like the wind now, you hear? Like I remember it. Dad! Oh, yeah. Uh, once you hit that button, there's no going back, all right? Now, the stone needs to hit the dirt at the moment that the comet energy blasts it, OK? harm to another witch carries the strongest penalty. Miss Hardbroom, I'll fix it. I will hear nothing more from you. I should have stopped you long ago. The only place for you now is the correctional school for undesirable witches. Wormwood. Yarrow, cedar, old oak tree. May this door now open B. Tabby! Tabby! What's that? They know we're missing from class. Tabby, come here! I suppose you are the reason for that. I've seen your sort before. Think you're too good for this place. Well, you're not. You're just like all the rest. Worthless, talentless, useless failures. The worst witches. Shall we say three months? Closed down. I'm not leaving you here on your own. I won't be on my own. I'm done listening to the little voice in my head. Cassia bark and cost Mary root. Mix them up with an old frog fruit. From her prickly prison I plead. Let my sister now be freed. Miranda! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Go! Go! Mildred Hubble, our new head girl. <laughs> Desk, cupboard, sock drawer. Oh, that's my packing list. <laughs> I'll just. Say what I feel. Um, four years ago, I didn't even know there was a cackles. Uh, I, I couldn't fly a broomstick or uh, mix potions. Uh, 
I didn't even know those things were real. <laughs> well, they are. As real as the friends we've made here and the fun we have and the family that we are. I now know that magic is real. But you don't need a cauldron and you don't need a spell book. There is magic inside each and every one of us. Which or not, you just have to believe in it.